Good evening and welcome to Into the Night. Join us in our cast of players. Clamberger, Eric Boardman, Michael Cole, Yolanda Gaston, Susan Carlin, Bill Lamar, Scott LaRose, Middleman, and Paul Wilson. I'm Al Chuck. Now please welcome the host of our show, Chris Lemon! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, and welcome to Studio 59. I am your host, Chris Lemon, and uh, oh boy, we got a great show for you tonight. Uh, we've been here rehearsing since bright and early this morning, and uh, the sketches are looking great. I think you're going to really enjoy them, so stay tuned. You're going to miss something special. Also, I got two great guests this evening. Uh, my first guest is a guy who's been around for a while, but's really beginning to make a break right now. Um, you're going to see him in his in series this uh, this uh, year on on is it CBS? Yeah, CBS, um, it's called Teach. It should be a lot of fun. You've also seen him in the movie City Slickers. And uh, coming up, he's going to be in a film with um, Lou Gossett Jr. called Aces. Um, he's a very interesting guy. You're going to enjoy him. His name is Phil Lewis. <laughs> and also, uh, what can I say about my special musical guest? She is... Uh, She's just sensational. Um, she's a magnificent singer. She's a wonderful actress. She's just, she's just magnificent. And we're very pleased to have her here with us tonight. Um, ladies and gentlemen, my special guest this evening is Nell Carter. Oh, yeah. A big oh, yeah on that one. And I'm going to be playing some piano for you. The Studio 59 band has a lot of great numbers cooked up. Um, what can I tell you? Sit back, relax. Enjoy yourself. In the meantime, there's been some very interesting developments in the news today, and I'm sure Paul and Yolanda have some very interesting things to say about it. So, Paul, Yolanda, over to you. Good evening, I'm Paul Wilson. And I'm Yolanda Gaskins, and here's some news you probably haven't heard. NASA announced it will be uh, testing recycled perspiration for astronauts to use as drinking water during prolonged space voyages. One concern, however, is that an astronaut with an effective antiperspirant could disrupt the entire space program. Boy, I'd hate to see their recycled lunch plan. In other news, Omni Magazine has reported that a marketing consultant is launching a world lottery where the winners will actually get to live in a space colony. It seems far-fetched, but at least it will help the intergalactic school system. <laughs> and you just know somebody's going to win this and say, hey, I'm still keeping my day job. In more bizarre news from the world of science, believe it or not, a South Dakota woman is pregnant with her own grandchild, acting as a surrogate mother for her daughter. Lucky son-in-law, that'll be some letter to come out. <laughs> Doctors are concerned that this will be a shock for the kid. The first thing he'll see is blue hair. And now, here's Phil Lamar with today's Consumer Report. Thank you, Yolanda. When shopping, wait for the sales. Back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. <clears throat> here's a heartbreaker. It was reported recently that a Taiwanese man wrote 700 letters to the woman he loved. The result of all these letters, she married the mailman. <laughs> Evidently, the postman rang her more than twice. Razor. Seen it. Kickboxer. Seen it. Shogun Assassin. Seen it twice. <laughs> oh, check this out. Paradise with Phoebe Cates. You know, it's like a Blue Lagoon thing, only she's full frontal through the whole movie. Ah, uh, seen it. <laughs> oh, Cinema Paradiso. That's supposed to be really good. I've uh, seen it. Ingmar Bergman's Through a Glass Darkly. Lived it. Korea, The Forgotten War. Seen it. Hudson Hawk. Yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mr. Magoo joins the Air Force? Hey, I can see that again. That's cool. Is anybody we know, huh? No, coast is clear. Huh? <laughs> this is going to be so great. This is going to be so hot. Darling, I'm quivering <laughs> just thinking about it. Why don't we pick out a really good one and then just run home? Hey, look, I've got a better idea. Why don't we just do it right here? <laughs> Woo, baby, you're so spontaneous. But remember why we're here. Hey, this is going to be awesome. We've never done it to a video before. We have. Ooh. Jiggle fever. That's uh, too political. Okay. Ooh. Edward Nipplehands, how about that, huh? It's kind of rough. How about this one, New Fellas? That's kind of cute on it, don't you think? Uh, a little too cute. Oh, oh, this one looks promising. City Liquors. Ooh, sounds yummy, but you know the way I'm feeling tonight, baby. I'd like two. Ooh. You're a hunk of hunk of burning love, aren't you? Mm. Well, in that case... Field of wet dreams. You're a bad, bad boy, and that's the way I like it, too. <laughs> Excuse me. Howdy, Roy, Stella. <laughs> hey, Carson Brown, how are you? Honey, Good. we got to go get that VCR. <laughs> Bye. See you later, kids. Uh, you know, I wouldn't work anywhere else in the world. Lots of nice folks, lots of interesting stories. You know, that's what life is all about. Did you get it in? Robin Hood, Prince of Thighs. <laughs> Beta? Uh-huh. Whoa. Bless you, my son. No problem, Bob. <laughs> Over 70% of these happy people will have had stain and tartar problems with their teeth. And what can lead to these problems is plaque. So use plaques before brushing to remove more plaque than brush. And Dad takes you out to the schoolyard and you hit your first jump shot from two feet back. Whoosh! <laughs> oh, or remember all the times that you and your brother used to sit around on the front porch talking about nothing for hours. <laughs> Well, some kids won't have good times to remember. They have no one to remember them with. Call Big Brothers. There's a boy out there who needs you. Says it's compelling. And later this fall, she'll star in the NBC movie Made for Each Other. Big hand, folks. Here's Nell Carter. <laughs> Just a little bit crazy And I'm wanting much too soon Well now maybe I'm just a little impatient boy And I'm wishing for the moon Oh but I got it now I would have told you babe Baby what you're doing to me Oh I would have told you babe No. 
Aquafresh fights tartar. I mean, I know you're new here, and I don't know you very well, but you, you okay? You seem kind of distracted. <gasps> this is so embarrassing. What, do you need a mini pad? Oh, no, thanks, Caroline. It's not <laughs> kind of embarrassing. I just, I had a dream about one of our co-workers. Dream? Yes. Was it a nightmare? Is one of us gonna die? Are you psychic? Is it gonna be me? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. It really wasn't a nightmare exactly. Yeah. I had a sex dream. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so who was it about? Was it a coworker? Was it a man or a woman? <gasps> oh, I know it was Phil, that dreamy writer. Oh, oh, he's hot. No, no, no. It was Steve Middleman. <clears throat> Gulp. Stay away from him, girl. He is tremendously dangerous. Can I oh, ladies? Hi, Steve. How you doing? Hi, Steve. Hi. Guess <laughs> she's not an old spice kind of gal. Oops. Hey, ladies and lackeys, get your pipe and hot haggis right here. We got haggis on a stick. Help yourself to the snack of the night. <laughs> Blow a good yeah, bad shit. Oh, oh, hey, you hey, mister. Well, what is it, laddie? I want an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> what ice cream is it? Ice cream is for sissies, laddie, not for a strong willed lad like yourself. What you need, laddie, is something that'll make you grow strong like a spring up. Aye. Something that'll make you want to pull a prowl through the eye for your daddy. Aye. Aye. Uh, that reminds me of the good old days and our daddies, too. You know what I'm talking about? Aye, a Jimmy McTavish. Aye, that's the truth, McTavish. Yes. To Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Ah. Hey, here you go, laddie. Let me give you a haggis on the house. There you oh, go. Thank you doing? Ah. <laughs> Where? Where is it? Why, it's haggis, laddie. It's the food of the gods. What's a haggis? What's well, a traditional Scottish dish? It's the stomach of a goat stuffed with its own intestines, heart, and lungs. <laughs> and anything else that happens to be around. <laughs> and we bury it in the dark for three days longer if we forget where we put it. Ah. Then we dig it up. Fill it with a little bit of oatmeal, a little salt and pepper, and celebrate in just thinking about it. So, how do you like it, laddie? Wait a minute. You say there's oatmeal in here? Hey! Oh, yes, laddie. Oatmeal and oatmeal! <laughs> Another satisfied customer. Toast! <laughs> To Edinburgh! Edinburgh! Hitman! Hitman! Uh, how you doing, guys? Look, uh, I'm on my lunch break, and I don't have a lot of time, so I'd have something quick, you know, like a hot dog or something. A hot dog? Do you have any idea what's in a hot dog? Yeah, Steve. That's exactly 
boy! Be a fool! It's the scuffling! You're making a sick body! Oh, oh, come on, you guys can't be serious. As serious as a scorch egg! Right. All right, uh, what else have we got? Uh, how about a little briar and thistle salad? Aye, with a nice goat drool dressing on the side. And for dessert, a cup of clotted cream with a nice blood pudding line. <laughs> Oh, wait, I get it. This is Canada camera, right? Come on, where is it? Where's the camera? <laughs> oh, forget it. Uh, you got anything else to eat? Pop up course, lobby. We got haggis. Okay. Food of the gods. Terrific. Yeah, give me one of them haggis. Ah, why, oh, sorry, hey, lobby. All right, hello, oh, thank you for your help. Where did we go, Where did we go? Here you go, lobby. <laughs> Hey, Flabby! <laughs> like chicken, he say. Oh, well, it's all right if you don't like it, but there's no need to insult us now, is there? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yuck spleen before I stick my big pipe to the sun, don't shut oh, it's all right. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Strange fellow. Uh, strange country, this America. It is a strange country, but we found ourselves a good living with the haggis wagon. Uh, uh, we do. Toast! Of course! Oh, Aberdeen! Wait a minute there, Nick Angus. I already toasted Aberdeen. <laughs> are we here to argue? Or are we here to toast? to 47 places. You want to see some of them? I got a few nights, a surprising uh, number of six. No, I'm sorry. I don't have time for this, Eric. Thank you. Excuse me. Hey, baby. Why don't you give your 18-hour bra the rest of the night off? No way, Melman. I can't handle this. It wasn't something I said. Joining us now is one of the finest young actors on television. You've seen him in the film City Slickers, and in November, he'll co-star with Lou Gossett Jr. in Aces. But most people know him from the CBS series, Teach. Before we meet him, watch him, watch him at work in this clip. <laughs> See? This is great. That's what it's all about. The democratic process, the American way. They don't lose face, get in the race. Don't miss the boat. Go out and vote. If your mind can conceive it, and your heart can believe it, then my brothers and sisters, you can achieve it. Yeah! <laughs> Please welcome Bill Lewis. Hey, Bill, great to have you here, buddy. Thank you. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, I'm, yeah, not, I'm not used to... Yeah, let's, why don't we do that? There that's that's much better. Really? Don't want to... That's standards <laughs> and practices, do we? Yeah, that's a good outfit for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I sort of feel kind of uh, free and easy yeah. in it. You know, it's... Um, I think it's kind of me. Yeah. You know, I may be yeah, wearing it more. Sure. Wearing it to clubs. you got all sorts of stuff going on. You're very busy. Yeah, you I'm, got I'm all trying. these films coming out and yeah, I got a, a uh, teach film looks coming sensational. Out. Yeah. yeah, teach is a lot of fun. We're uh, we're having a great time mm -hmm. with it, and uh, you know things are really moving. Yeah, so, uh, yes. Yeah. Back on wood. I, I, I was reading. Oh yeah, 
yeah, absolutely. Um, I was reading TV Guide, and evidently, and it happened to me, actually, about 15 years ago in a series that I did. You had a, a kissing controversy, and, and I would love to hear about it. Well, what happened was, uh, in one of the shows, my uh, love interest happens to be white. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, they wanted to do the scene both ways, and uh, TV Guide kind of blew it out of proportion a tad. Mm -hmm. uh, they were anticipating a network note, but we never got one, so... The scene with the kisses and and it ended up playing. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I I uh, you know I feel very um, uh, fortunate in this situation with Teach because I can speak my mind and Absolutely. I can uh, tell the producers yeah. and I I you know wanted to to say that you know it, it's we we've moved on a little bit and I I don't think we should have to worry about that issue anymore. I can't agree with you more, my friend. Mm -hmm. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised it did happen to you. You're a musician. I didn't know yeah. that. Well, I saw you jamming. Man. Well, you know, I, I do my best. Yeah, I, I play I around a little bit. Are you a pianist? Yeah, I'm a pianist. I play a, a little on teach here and there, uh -huh. and uh, so you can uh, you can check it out. Yeah, you can what, what do you play? What do you play? I love playing jazz. Oh yeah, I love the jazz stuff. Oh, and I write a little bit too. Write a little really? music. Really? Yeah, we're sort yeah. of in the same boat. Yeah, kind of like uh, an Algero type feel, mellow uh -huh. type jazz uh -huh. stuff. Yeah. Hey, well, I'd love to hear some of your stuff. Maybe I can rip it off. Oh, oh, thanks. You were raised in Washington, D.C.? Yeah. yeah Did you ever meet any presidents or anything like that? Oh, we got D.C. people out there? Huh? Yay! All right! Hey, all three of them. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, um, we used to go to the White House, from, you know, on, on uh, field trips and stuff, uh -huh. and uh, it, people would say, oh, well, you might see the president walking through the uh, the hallways mm -hmm. and stuff. I never got to see a president, but I did in uh, 1986. Um, I was a presidential scholar in the arts, mm -hmm. and I uh, got to meet President Reagan and got a medal. That's amazing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Here, well done, Phil. Oh, that's good. Well done. <laughs> that's good. Here you go. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> there you are. Well done, Phil. Well, well, what was your name again? Uh, uh, Phil. Phil, that's well right. Well done, Phil. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Yeah, no, was, no, was, I'm, I'm yeah. making fun. He's no, a great it, man. It was, a great man. It was a great experience. And you're originally from Uganda. Uh, yeah, I was born in Uganda. My parents were in the Peace Corps, mm -hmm. and uh, I was only there for about nine months, mm -hmm. and uh, then we left. But uh, my parents tell me stories. And well, well, let's hear one of them. Oh, just uh, we had a, a beautiful. It, it's a beautiful landscape, and I think that's the irony uh, about Africa is that there's so much confusion and turmoil, but yet the, the country is, is so beautiful. Well, right? you always see the Sahara and the deserts and right, the plains right, and stuff yeah. like that, but there really is. is yeah. It's a, it's a huge continent, exactly. obviously, and there's, exactly. there's you know yeah. a lot of different kind of flora yeah. and fauna. Yeah, and I was uh, we were in Uganda, and uh, then we traveled Europe. So, my, my I have three older brothers, and they got to see everything. So, and I haven't seen any of it. And this was so. all at the age of nine. Uh, months. Yeah, I was in diapers, so and oh, spitting gosh. pacifiers out. Oh so. gosh. <laughs> well, so so what turned you on to acting? I did my first professional show when I was about twelve years old, and uh, I I got on stage, and uh, you know it just hit me. It was great to hear. The roar of the crowd and, yeah. uh, and to work with uh, other people on stage. The and smell of the uh, grease paint exactly. and, and all that right. stuff. Right. Oh, did you remember what the show was? The show was called Storyville and uh, it was set in New Orleans. Uh -huh. And uh, I played this uh, young kid who uh, tried to make extra money shining shoes mm -hmm. for a living. Mm -hmm. For those and that just let me interject one thing for those at home that don't know, Storyville was a very famous uh, town, a red light district actually in, in New Orleans where jazz was basically given birth to. That's right. Yeah. Um, so yeah. continue, I'm sorry. Yeah, so we, uh, we I, I, my, our first performance, I uh, go out and I'm go get this guy's shoes and he's mm -hmm. supposed to tip me. Mm -hmm. And so he, you know, he's about to throw me a coin and he throws this coin and I lose it in the lights. It's my first time on stage. I'm oh, 12 great. years old, yeah. right? So Props. I just look at, exactly, you know? <laughs> So I just look up and, and the coin lands right in my hands. I grabbed the coin and ran so fast off stage, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, I think but, the uh, good Lord wants you to be doing I what you're doing so. right so now. I think so. So hopefully uh, other things City Slickers, away. huge yes, hit. Yes. Just wonderful oh, success. Oh, yes, yes, yes. City Slickers. City Slickers. That's, don't rent the other one. Okay? <laughs> City Slickers. That's the one. Yeah. It was well, good. you know, you were working with, um, that couldn't have been a very easy shoot, I Ooh, wouldn't think, first boy. of all. That's yeah. that's out there and you're, you know, herding, herding the cattle oh, there. Riding and, uh, the range. Riding the range riding there. The range. Any that, yeah. You must have had a few interesting experiences. Oh, oh, we did. You know, I had to learn how to ride a horse for the show. Oh, you didn't and, ride uh, before? I didn't ride before. Of course, I went in and I met with Billy Crystal. And uh, Billy, uh, Billy we said, I love your reading. Mm -hmm. and, and he goes, uh, do, you, uh, do you ride? I went, uh, sure, Bill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 In fact, I'm going out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what a horse looks like. <laughs> you know? So uh, 
I had to go out and, uh, and learn how to ride, but uh, we, you know, we it's not that good. tough. It, oh, it yeah, really sure isn't. You, you once you, once you, yeah, once you get, if you're athletic, you know, you can really get sure. into it. So yeah. we had a lot of fun. Seven weeks with 300 head of cattle. So oh yeah, hey, <laughs> that was quite interesting. No temperamental yeah. ones, I. Oh hope. no, 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 no. None of the cattle. But, the man in well, their own one just rooms. makeup, makeup. Oh, makeup. the time, <laughs> boy, those those cows can be a real problem yeah. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but we had a great. Well, tell me about the film Aces. Aces. It's an action adventure film with Lou Gossett Jr., which was wonderful to work with. He is mm -hmm. uh, an incredible man. He's got to be. I'm, I'm, I'm dying to meet him oh, one of these days. He's an Academy Award winner. I mean, it just, it, I just, I learn more, I he think, off like, the set. He seems him. like he has such such strength of character, oh, yeah, you know, that yeah. it's, it would be almost oh, yeah. a little overbearing. Well, we were doing this scene together, and, and in the back of my mind, I kept thinking Officer and a Gentleman, where he was yelling at Richard Gere, and I'm like going, oh boy, this is frightening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's a big guy, too. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. but he's a teddy bear. He's, yeah. a, he's a great man. So yeah. uh, that's coming out in November. So go out and catch Great. it. So you got Teach coming up. You yeah. got Aces. You yeah. just finished in City Slickers. You're a very busy man. Yeah. Um, you know, hopefully it keeps going. Deservedly so, my friend. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us today. I appreciate it. All right. Appreciate it. You look Thank great. You. Thank you very much. Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, the old, the old spot in there. So, Ina. Caroline tells me that you got the hots for middlemen. No way! I don't have the hots for him. I mean, I did have a sex dream about him, but that doesn't mean that I have the hots for him, does it? I don't know what it means. Well, maybe if you told me a little bit about your dream, I could help you figure things out. Okay. I took a course in college. This is so embarrassing. Me and Steve were on this train, mm -hmm. and the train was going through a tunnel, and then there was this rocket launch, and there was a whole series of fire hydrants, and... <laughs> You know, I really don't know what that means. It's been a long time since college. Look, just don't worry about it, okay? Okay, I'll try not to. Hey, ladies. Hi. Hi. How about I put some nair on my lower lip and go to work? <laughs> she acts like she's seen me naked. From refrigerators and freezers to washers and dryers, from dishwashers to cellular phones, VCRs, TVs, stereos, camcorders, and more. At savings from five to four hundred dollars, all on sale through Wednesday at Sears Brand Central. I gotta stop thinking about Fifth Avenue candy bars. Those crunchy layers of peanut butter, that Hershey's pure milk chocolate. No, no more. I'm cured. <laughs> Fifth Avenue. It's everything it's cracked up to be. TV's Morning Madcaps, People stars Kathy Lee and Reed, having no shame on TV, losing all modesty on TV, getting rich and living good, plus Princess Di's stepmother selling off the inheritance, it's all in People, pick up a copy today. Here's one attack, walking the ball up the floor, he looks at a tight zone. Not everyone uses the number one antibacterial deodorant soap. He's lost possession, he comes up empty, the ball goes out of bounds. Aren't you glad you used Dial? It doesn't get any closer than this. My name is Ray. I want to play. I hope I don't scare you away. When the Roundhouse Marine Studies Lab in Manhattan Beach needed a temporary home, the nearby refinery made room and built one, so kids could keep learning about their underwater neighbors. I look like I'm from outer space, but upside down, I'm a happy face. Do people believe that learning about nature leads to caring about nature? More than thickening, more than separating. Receive a free eight-piece gift, including a roomy cosmetic bag, when you purchase more than mascara or any Estee Lauder product for $12.50 or more. This Estee Lauder gift is yours through October 5th at Robinson's. Narcolepsy. If I had it, I might fall asleep right here in front of the camera, helpless. I know. A friend of mine has narcolepsy, and I know about the helpless feeling, the constant fear of falling asleep anywhere. I also know this. There's new progress in research, treatment, and medication, and it's not a helpless condition anymore. For the latest information on narcolepsy, call the American Narcolepsy Association. Oh, Ina, 
I've got to talk to you. I don't know what I've done, but uh, it seems like you're uncomfortable when I'm around. I don't know what's giving you that impression, Stephen. Oh, it's either the agonizing shrieks or the fact that you're, you're, you're run when I'm in your presence, or a combination of both. I'm sorry, Steve. I guess I've acted so immature. It's... I'm just going to be honest with you. I had a, um... I had a sex dream about you last night, okay? Okay! That's the best news I ever heard. An attractive woman having a sex dream about the myth. <laughs> it's about time things started cooking for that mega stud. Oh, yeah. Oh, you too confident. There's just one more thing, Steve. Sure, babe. What? Every time I look at you, you appear naked to me. Once again, Nell Carter singing Bad Case of You.
Uh, do you want to sit there or here? Why don't yeah, you sit here you. and I'll sit there. Okay. Here we go. The old, this, is, this is called a crisscross. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good. Boy, it's a shame you can't sing. <laughs> you are you wonderful. You have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful group. Don't you think yeah, so? Yeah, Studio 59 Band. Thank you, Nell. And, and compliments to your arranger and your backup singers. They're sensational, too. Oh, and you, you. Uh, boy, I tell you, the one thing I've always been w wanting to do in my life or wanted to be able to do is sing. But As you can. <laughs> no, I Yes, can. you can. He knows he can, can he? No, 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 no. They, they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, can he? <laughs> <laughs> you sweet boy, can you sing? It's just amazing. I'm not in good voice today, but we try. Well, it's tough, you know, because it's smoggy, and uh, for those that aren't in Los it's Angeles, daytime, it's very smoggy too. here. It's daytime, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough. It gets, you know, it yeah. gets you rest. So, hello, Dolly. You mentioned hello, Dolly earlier. Mm, that's, uh, wow. Yes, I'm so nervous. Well, I don't blame you. That's, that's, I'm uh... petrified, actually. Um, I'm, we're going to be doing it starting in California. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it will go on the road, but I'm actually petrified with this, this show, and I'm also petrified about doing it here in California first. Um, because, see, if you're in New York and the show is just so-so, mm -hmm. the tourists will come in, but I don't know any tourists who drive out to Long Beach. Uh, I don't mean that as an insult, but how many people you know say, hey, let's go out, let's go to Long Beach, right? <laughs> so, I'm very afraid, and then there's so many people who say, well, I saw, I saw Carol do it, I saw, I saw um, um, Betty yeah. Grable, I saw, uh, they, they named everybody in the world, you know, Pearl Bailey, and they're saying, she did this, she did that. So every time you think you've come up with something original, you realize that it's not. And I keep having this nightmare, and this is not a lie, I'm not trying to be funny, that when I come down the steps in my beautiful red gown, that I'm coming down and singing, you're supposed to be, hello, Dolly, right? Well, I have, I keep having this dream that I come out saying, hello, Molly. No, no, no. no. There's so many names in this thing. How are you supposed to, you, you, I mean, I don't know. No wonder the, the character talks so fast. She can't see all these words. Yeah. And then everyone knows the music. Of course, it's one of the most marvelous vehicles of all, and and by well, coming to it, you're on stage in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to bring what's what's intrinsically you to the show, and it's going to be great. Well, uh, if they don't like it, I won't know because I wear glasses and I won't have them on. So. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that nice? You know, I, I also, have, in case people haven't noticed, have to wear glasses. <laughs> but the nice thing about glasses is when the world really gets lousy, you can just sort of take them off, and everything turns into a wonderful big blur. <laughs> I, I live my life that way. I really do. I really don't. I don't wear glasses. Unless I'm driving. Well, now going on stage and stuff with body mics and all the new technology, I hate it's, it does it. Look, we're, we're wearing them right now for the folks at home. This is a body mic right here. I hate them. Right there, and you can see well, them speaking well, in, into in this. In the right, in the right uh, place, they're fine. But for the stage, for me, um, it's a personal thing mm -hmm. because you know nine out of ten times they don't think you're going to miss any show, so mm -hmm. they get your stand, your standby, or your understudy is someone with a very beautiful voice. But I'm a belter. I was trained to project to the back, you know, like be able to. You can hear it all the way back. Mm -hmm. Oops, I'm sorry. I was going to say, but, you have such a big voice that it's got to be almost an encumbrance. But this is how you, you used to be trained to do that. But now you got these little doll babies that sit there, they do nothing but makeup on their face, and they sing loud. They have, the, you know, they're making it with the sound guy. <laughs> so the sound guy got that mic louder than yours. And so you out there singing, and you sweating.